from NBC News. This is a special edition of Today, Decision 2008, with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Back now at 810, advice columnist Ann Landers once said, the naked truth is always better than the best dressed lie. But some new information on women and lying could leave you wondering, was anyone listening? I'm sleeping with a 25 year old. What did you just say? I'm sleeping with a 25 year old. On NBC's Lipstick Jungle, one woman lies on the job when accused of sexual harassment. Is there any truth to his claim? No, absolutely not. And in the classic film Belle de Jour, this woman is both chaste wife and, unknown to her husband, a prostitute. Sure, these are the stories of the big and small screen, but might they reflect real-life drama more than you'd initially think? A new book, Little White Lies, Deep Dark Secrets, suggests that the answer to that question is yes. Its author found women use lies in a broad range of areas as a means to an end. 75% of women say they have to lie in the workplace to sustain their positions. 60% admit to an addiction secret. 50% have mixed emotions about mothering. I think that women, you know, keep secrets in order to protect themselves. Um, nobody likes to be judged. You know, I do have a very open relationship with my children, but when they ask me direct questions, I don't feel it's always beneficial to, you know, to answer them. I think everyone, you know, conceals the truth all throughout their day um, at different times in different ways in different situations and because of that the, you know all different types of things can be considered lying yes sometimes they're left better unsaid if that if that's telling a lie but not by not telling how you really feel then I do I'm guilty of it lying is a survival mechanism so yes we definitely all do it and Susan Shapiro Barish is the author of Little White Lies, Deep Dark Secrets. R.J. Allen is a relationship therapist. Good morning to both of you. I want to point out that those two women that you just saw, they're not serial liars by any means. They're just speaking in general terms about women and lying. And Susan, you found out through your research that most women live by this code of lying, secrets, and deception. Is it something that's hardwired in us or is it nurtured? I think it's both, Meredith. It's partly the culture really almost encouraging women to make a secret of anything that isn't what they're supposed to do, perhaps an addiction. Women lie about money. And then nurturing, well, our mothers have often taught us how to lie compassionately. You don't tell your friend she doesn't look good in a dress. You don't tell your husband you don't like the necklace he brought home. But those are innocent lies, aren't innocent they? Innocent lies, but they can take you to the lie that you really need. And sometimes it's just expedient to lie. That's well, what women have to decide. We asked some of our viewers to email us things that they lie, lie about. And one woman wrote, my biggest lie would be my happiness in my marriage. I'm actually miserable, but put on the facade that all is okay. Another said, I don't tell my husband exactly how much money we have and what we owe. I also don't tell him how much of a tax refund we received. Now these those are those are going towards the bad, aren't they? Well, these are betterment lies. Yeah. I lie to improve the situation. And, you know, if you reveal your secret, you feel that it's not really going to help you. And so these women do it deliberately. They think about it. Well, you, you interviewed, uh, or I guess you put this on Craigslist, right? You asked women to, to I advertised on Craigslist. And well, how many I, did? I 500? I used 500 women. I actually had more women than that who answered the ad. And they were from all across the country, different ages, social strata, ethnicity. And they all started the interview by saying to me, yes, I lie in some way. I feel I have to. And they all lie, they lie about everything from sex to marriage to work to finances, everything they across do. the board. You had and one woman who talked about shoplifting with her kids. Tell me about that. That was a disturbing mm -hmm. story. This was a young woman who had young children, and she thought that if she got caught, she could account for it. So she said she would put them in the cart, she would take them, and she would steal small things. And she thought if they stopped her, she would say, well, it's such a hectic day, and I have my children with me. And that's an acceptable lie where you think that you can explain it away. So Archie, when it starts going down that path, yeah. it can be very, yeah. very dangerous. And you say what you need to do is get to the root of the problem. The root yeah. of the problem, yeah. is it the secret or the lie? Or The root of the problem is the secret, not necessarily the, the lie. The lie is the behavior. But many people, just as Susan said, we're trained to lie. And most people, if you say, you know, how many people have never lied? If they tell you they've never lied, 
that's lying because most people have, have lied about something. So get to the root of the problem, which is the secret and why they're perpetuating a lie. And it might be that their mother or their father or whomever said, you know what, don't hurt their feelings or every woman has to have their mad money. And really in all reality, that then perpetuates the practice of the lie. But really it's the secret and secret keeping that's not good for us. And it actually can have an impact on your health. Yeah, absolutely. When you think about it, holding a lie, like perhaps maybe you're having an affair or holding a lie that you're, you're mismanaging the money, that can have a toll on you physically, emotionally, spiritually. And if you're holding those big secrets, then you're moving away from your own truth. But and some women get so good at the lie that they just layer the lie. And that's yeah. again when it's dangerous. Yeah. And they have to really face it and say, this isn't helpful anymore. It's harming me. It's harming someone close to me. But when you have so many layers it's awfully hard to peel them back and finally reveal the truth well, yeah, because your whole you life is living there's a problem and that this lie that once enabled you is now not helping for instance I interviewed a woman her brother was a drug addict so she gave him money and her mother gave him money but finally they had to face that he needed help and that they mm. weren't helping him and that the family secret had to be let out yeah. and before we go I mean men lie too let's be that's right right not about just, that not okay just women they're just and not as good they at it or? they're not as good at well, it well they don't think good. it necessarily through but my thing is tell somebody about it, especially if it's a deep, dark secret, you've got to let that go because otherwise that's going to hold on to you and it affects the rest of your relationship. At least tell one person. All yeah. right, RJ Allen, thank All you right. very much. Susan Barish as well.